Today, Johnson Mathey announced its half-year results for the six months ended 30th of September 2014. I'm Sally Jones and I'm here with Robert McLeod, Chief Executive, to find out more about the numbers and the group's performance. Robert, can you tell us a little bit about the results? Sally, yes, a good set of numbers, I think. I mean, whilst although the published numbers are only up a little bit, 2% compared to the same period last year, we've had faced a couple of headwinds. Uh, the first one was the loss of the Anglo Platinum contract, and the second one is foreign exchange, which has impacted our business. So really, the underlying business is doing really, really well. And that's a credit to all our staff. They're working really, really hard on replacing these, uh, the loss of the Anglo contract and, and the, the, the headwinds I just talked about. If I look forward, the outlook for the rest of the group, we've upgraded slightly this year uh, for the full year, so we reckon now we're going to be a little bit ahead of the same period last year, and that's despite these headwinds, so a good performance overall. And the big driver of that is ECT. That's our emission control technologies business, which makes catalysts for cars and trucks. And that really is powering away and making a really good performance. So an excellent performance from there. But the rest of the business is doing well too. The Chinese economy is slowing down a little bit at the moment. Is that a reason behind the weaker performance in process technologies chemicals business? And if so, do you see this as a, a medium term trend that we should expect? Well, I think, Sally, the, the performance in our process technology has been good as a whole. But you're right, the chemicals business has been held back a little bit by a slight hiatus in China. I think it's a function of previous years, China had been really booming and they've been growing their petrochemical infrastructure a lot. And they're taking a little bit of a pause as some of our technologies, uh, perhaps they've got capacity of today. But look, the l outlook and the longer term picture in China is still good. Uh, because of the clean air requirement that they have. And we have products that, that can enable them to help clean up their air quality. So a little bit of a hiatus, but we certainly are very confident and optimistic about the long-term future. And then turning next to Europe, again, you know, there's reports about uh, Malays in Europe. Um, you know, do you see that as uh, affecting the ECT business? Uh, you know, we continue to invest there, um, but are we doing that at the right time? Oh, absolutely we're doing it at the right time, because despite the fact, you're right, there is a little bit of a malaise in Europe, as we all know, uh, legislation has come through in Europe, which requires more fitment of uh, catalysts on a car and also on trucks. And that required us to build the capacity ahead of this new legislation, which is now in place. So I think we've got growth ahead of us over the next few years, reg almost regardless of the number of cars that are sold and trucks. Obviously, we hope that the uh, malaise in Europe won't get uh, too, too bad, but I think we're well placed. And so we know Precious Metal Products Division is establishing a new base at the moment following the change in the contracts with Anglo-American Platinum. But aside from that, the performance in the division just seems sort of steady. Where do you see the growth coming from longer term? Well, that's an interesting question. You're absolutely right. There was a rebasing after the uh, loss of the Anglo contract. Um, but it's a core part of the group, the refining part, which is very much intrinsic of supplying our metal uh, to the rest of the business, which is a requirement, is an absolutely essential part of the business. And I think that can continue to grow as we see a sort of tightness of supply, uh, particularly of platinum and palladium in the world at the moment. Uh, going forward, uh, more and more of our businesses in this division are around metals and functional metals. And now it's around creating new technologies, new products that use advanced functional materials. And that's what we do. And so it's a question now of coming up with new ideas and new products. And I think there's some coming to market in the next year or two, uh, and then we'll return to growth. And then moving to fine chemicals division, mm -hmm. uh, again, steady performance. Um, how does it really fit with the rest of the group? A question I've asked a lot by people. Um, and if you think about Johnson Mathia, we've got a range of, from an external point of view, it does look like we cover a range of different markets. But what really joins the companies together is at the bottom. It's the chemistry skills that we have and the application of those chem chemistry skills. And although this is organic chemistry rather than inorganic chemistry, it really is around the chemistry and its application. And that's how it fits. Uh, and, and that's really what joins Johnson Matthew together. And everything we look at is really around those skill sets. So whilst a different external market, it really does fit our core skills as an organization. And building on your last point, can you tell us how you see the long-term strategy of the group progressing? Well, I think we're making good progress around the whole company. Uh, new business is one area of focus at the moment. 
uh, and that's where we've made some real progress in our battery technologies uh, area. Uh, we just announced uh, last month, I think it was, the acquisition of a new business from Clarion in the battery and material space, and that is really it's establishing us in the battery technology arena. Uh, we're also looking at new ideas for, for new business areas too. Uh, but it's not just about new business, it's around the rest of the group. And you can see the results of what's happening in ECT, our emission control business. They are really developing well, and they're very well placed. Process technology, we've touched on already. A little bit our hiatus today, but really good, strong growth ahead of it in the years going in, in the future. And, and we touched on pressure metal products and flying chemicals too. So the strategy is good, the strategy is sound. The long-term drivers for the business are still good too. And this new business area is just giving us extra optionality about the future. And finally, you've been chief executive since June. Uh, should people expect to see anything fundamentally different or is it more steady as she goes? Well, Sally, you're right. It's six months, no, nearly six months in, and I'm delighted to have this job. It's a real honour to, to be the chief executive of such a great company. Um, change. Companies always go through change. There's constant improvement, continual improvement, happens all the time. But I don't think you're going to see anything radical in Johnson Matthey. We're successful. The business is going well. We're coming up to our 200th birthday, and I sincerely hope we're going to go on well into the next century. So no radical change, just continual improvement. Robert, thank you very much. Thank you, Sally.